Okay, number three, the diagram on the right shows the images for certain element of set A. Is the relation a function? If so, state your reason. So, to be considered a function, it must only has one image. So, object can only has one image. It doesn't matter if the object, if the image got many objects, as long as one object is only allowed to has one image. So, you see here, 7 only has one image, 6 one image, negative 6 one image and negative 7 is one image. It doesn't matter even though 49 got two objects, but it doesn't matter because function only cares about the image. So, for it to be considered a function, one object can only has one image. So, this is a... So, B, state the domain and range for the relation. So, we say that everything in front here is domain and everything back here is codomain. So, we say here B, so, domain is everything in the object here, which is 7, 6, negative 6 and negative 7. So, what is the difference between codomain and range? So, we can say that everything here is domain and everything at the image side here is the codomain. But range is the codomain with object. So, we can say that 49 and 36 got object. So, the range is equal to 49 and 36. 36 and 49 is also okay. Using the function notation, write one relation between set A and set B. So, what is the relation between set A and set B? So, you can see here, 7 square is 49. Negative 7 square is 49. 6 square is 36 and negative 6 square is 36. So, we can see that. So, for C, the function they are going to is fx. So, when the object is x, the image is x square. Because you can see that when this is 7, 7 square is 49. So when this is negative 7, x is negative 7, then negative 7 square is also 49. So this is how the function is related. Okay, so number 4, the diagram on the right shows the graph of a function. So this is a modulus function, the domain is from 0 to 5. Find the value of t. So, where is t? So, t is here. So, you can see here. What is the relation t? So, you can see here at t, x is equal to 5. So, you have this function fx is equal to 2x minus 4. So, we can say that fx is also equal to y. So, uh, you wanted to know what is t, you can just substitute here. So, t is equal to y is equal to modulus here to x is 5 minus 4. So, this is we get uh, 10 minus 4 is 6. So, t is equal to model 6. t is equal to 6. So, here t is equal to 6. So, b, the range of f based on the given domain. So, the range, what is does it mean range? Range is from minimum to maximum. So, we can see that the minimum here, the lowest f is 0 and the maximum is 6. So, the range of fx, f, the range of fx, so the minimum value it can go is 0 and the maximum is 6. So, fx is in between 0 to 6. So, the value of f is in between 0 to 6. So, the range values of x such that fx is smaller than 4. So, when fx, so we know that fx is equal to 2x minus 4. So, when fx is smaller than 4, so we know that 2x minus 4 should be smaller than 4. So, we know that everything inside modulus will become, will always become positive. So, when we want to remove the modulus, so, it can be either positive or negative. So, 2x minus 4 can is also 4 and negative 4. So, it can be negative 4 or 4. So, we can settle one by one. So, here you can say 2x minus 4 is larger than negative 4. So, here 2x minus 4. So, we see here it is larger than negative 4. Larger than negative 4. 
So 2x is larger than negative 4. We bring, we bring here will become negative 4 plus 4 which is 0. So x is larger than 0. So here another equation is 2x minus 4 is smaller than 4. So we bring 4 to the other side. 2x is smaller than. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So x is smaller than 8 divided by 2 or 4. So the range values of x such that fx is smaller than 0. So x is larger than 0. x is smaller than 4. So x is in between 0 and 4.